Welcome back. Today we have a stroker's perspective. Uh, Brian tests the new Roto Grip gem. And as I mentioned in the primary review video, the gem is a strong defined ball, and that's also true for Brian. You could see those typical characteristics surface, strong read, strong transition, leading to a very nice look to the pocket. Brian saw, similar to what I saw, a nice blend of the over-under of that walled house shot. It wants to transition regardless of the pattern, and appropriately timed transition led to good carry anywhere left of the second arrow to about the third arrow. It responded strongly to friction, but again, controlled the oil in the middle of the lane very well. Now, when Brian went past the third arrow, the gem's reaction kind of went away. What was once a strong transition looked, you know, DOA basically. It, it lost energy and didn't have enough uh, oomph to cover the boards making it back. And even if he pu pushed it all the way to the friction, it just didn't have the appropriate energy retention to make it back. However, when he moved back to the right, there it was again, back in business. Um, the reaction ultimately looked quite good for him. He had a chance to compare it to his Nova, and that reaction looked really, really good for him, you know, when we did that test and, and has made it into his bag. Uh, but now let's take a quick look at the chart. Both balls are in the strong defined category, and you'll note that maybe the gem's a little stronger while the Nova is a little more angular, um, but you can kind of see the overlap. And if you watch the shots, you'll see how close they are, but there is a discernible angle the Nova has over the gem. Just a touch cleaner. You could argue the factory finish accounts for the difference. They're so close. Um, and obviously the house shop blends things out. But there's really no reason to have both unless you separate the surfaces even more than factory. But both are easily worthy of the strong de defined slot.